right, today is the day. Good morning, everybody. Today, it's a solo adventure. Well, I say solo, that's because we don't have kids. It's actually myself and Ashley, and we are going to the lovely Heron Island. We're leaving Gladstone now. This is the Gladstone Harbour, and we can't wait. Mate, we are so excited. We have no kids. We're there for three nights. We get to snorkel, see the turtles, the marine life, drink a little bit of alcohol, have some nice food. It's gonna be yummy. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to show you guys how good this trip's gonna be. Let's get to it. Housekeeping. Here we are. The room. What's going on? I'm trying to get my wetsuit on. Bit of a struggle there, mate. So there's a small fridge, little bench, a couple of day beds. Bathroom shower. And bedroom. She's pretty basic, but what do you expect? It's an eco resort and you're out here on the reef. You're not here to be in some five star hotel room. We are here for that. So just a couple of meters away from the room, jumping straight in the water, mate. It's gonna be mint. See you there. All right guys, here we are, beautiful Heron Island. We're about to go for our first snorkel of the trip. Um, I got these a couple of months ago. They're the Ninja Shark flippers and also this mask. We've always used the traditional one before, which is just the mask and snorkel, which I did bring that too, just in case these aren't as good as I hope they are. Um, but we're gonna give these a go the first time around. And look how beautiful this water is. It's aqua, pristine, clear. We just had a shark swim right past us. So I'm gonna throw these on and I'm gonna try to track that shark down for you guys. Um, yeah, let's do Oh mate, there's a bit of wind about, a little bit of chop on top of the water. So it's not ideal snorkeling, but mate, this water, temperature, it's gotta be in the place. It's like a bath. It's so beautiful. So behind me is a thing called the gantry. And this is situated in front of the bar. So that's the bar up there. That's an information centre and they are some um, little sweets and stuff on the, the edge. Is the name from? I don't know at the moment. Uh, but yeah, and over past that area where the bar is, there's um, a restaurant where we're eating some food. Anyways, I've seen some nice fish. I saw a ray. I couldn't chase it down. It was pretty quick, but I'm going to keep going. We'll go over to the um, wreckage over there, 
and uh, hopefully, like I said, get some sharkies, mate. That'll be cool. Let's do it. I just want to show you guys. So this particular island is a coral canyon. So it's made up of fuck corals over a huge amount of years. I don't know the exact years. I might Google it and just put it somewhere in the, in the uh, comments box. Anyway. So, damn. It's all white fuck coral. And it's like that stuff they used to exfoliate. This is a woman's dream, mate. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There you go, just saved 300 bucks, ladies. Come to Heron Island. Put some coral stand up. Wipe away. Hey folks, it is 4.15. You know what, time doesn't matter. We're on island time, baby. So the time is the afternoon. The sun's just moving over the island. All the birds are in the sky. I don't know if you can see all the birds in the background there. All the noddies going out to get the fish to feed their young. This time of year is when all the birds come and nest on Heron Island, so the actual uh, native wildlife with all the birds around here is pretty crazy. The sounds, the smells actually. Um, dead birds too. Dead birds everywhere and they kind of just get attached to all these uh, different sappy trees and the sap and the, and the little twigs stick to their, their, their feathers and their wings and it sort of just drags them down into the ground to the point where they can't move and they just sort of just get eaten up by the earth and that's just how the ecosystem works here. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying, we're having a cheeky little wine um, before we go for another swim and possibly watch a sunset and then have some dinner later. Um, dinner's booked for seven. We didn't get a choice of time. We were given one because it's our first day, which is okay. But you know, we're pretty hungry, so I might be a bit hangry by then. So I figure I get some of this... Um, some of this uh, filming stuff out of the way and a couple of wines and that way I won't be so hangry. And when I say me, I mean Ashley. Definitely me too. I'm not happy about seven o'clock dinner time. But if, see past Ashley, you know that cool driftwood there? It's just lots of little cool things that make up this island. And um, it's such a special place to be. Um, I can't give this place higher wraps. You know what I mean? Like when you when you come here, and I've said it before, when you come here, you come here for the snorkeling and the reef and the relaxation and the beauty. Unfortunately, we can't put a drone up. It's, it's a no-fly zone, but you can understand that with, you know, the birds everywhere and and it being a marine park. I'll try and sneak one that just flies past. It might be a bit cool. If you see next to us though, actually, there's something to point out. I haven't gotten to any of the turtle things of this video yet because it's only day one and I think tomorrow morning we'll go and look at the actual turtles themselves. But see next to us here, that's where a turtles come up to nest, yeah? So they try and come up, you stay out of them. If you see those deep holes like that, that's obviously where a, a big mum of turtles come and lay their eggs and that just litters the whole radius of this island the whole way around the island and um, yeah it's a special sight to see we actually haven't seen them um, laying no we've seen them laying when they lay the eggs we've never seen them hatch we, yeah we haven't seen them hatch we've seen them laying quite a bit um, I just don't think we come at the right times of the year but they're meant to start hatching around this time of year as well but we you know we don't care it would be cool to see them hatching so we've planned for a turtle walk and that is actually, because it's Sunday today, they do all that stuff over the weekend for all the guests. So this is sort of an off day. Um, so they start kicking it back off on Wednesday and Wednesday's the day we leave. So we might get one of them early, one of those guided tours. But for now, we're just gonna do everything ourselves. We'll go for a big reef walk. I might get some footage of that. We'll go for a turtle walk in the morning. I don't think the GoPro is very good at getting 
imagery in the dark so I don't know how that'll go but hopefully we can get something um, you don't flash lights onto turtles or anything because it scares them away um, well it's high tide now so they're gonna they'll start coming in in probably four to eight hours I think in the, in the cover of darkness they come in um, so yeah hopefully we get something early in the morning before sunrise and uh, and you guys can see that that'll be cool until then happy island time Ashley wants to give you a little bit of dark history about Heron Island. Before Heron Island was a tourist destination that it is today, it originally was a turtle canning facility. So they made turtle soup out of the turtles, um, which is pretty sad. Then after that was cancelled and there was next was the tourism industry that came where everyone came over to Heron Island on a big barge. However, what they used to do is when the turtles came in all the way into land to lay, they'd turn them upside down and let all the guests have a sleep throughout the night and then turn them the other way around and let them ride the turtles. Pretty sad. There you have it. That's pretty crazy. So what, what do they do? So the the actual hotel staff, they, if they saw a turtle nesting, they'd flip them over on their shell so they couldn't go anywhere. And then in the morning, they'd flip them back and charge the customers to ride them back money to ride them back into the ocean. That's disgusting. Screw you, old Heron Island. That is not cool. But you know, that's what happens in, uh, and that's what history is there for. So we learn these things. And it's definitely not done today. You're not even allowed to go close to the turtles or there you touch go. them. That's some dark history with Ashley. What's wrong with the ice cream, dear? Plus four bucks for two scoops. Unless you're a child. Cheap ass. Good morning. Good morning. Ashley. It's five o'clock. We just got up, just opened our eyes, and we're coming down to see if there's any turtles on the beach. I'm not sure, I think we might be a little bit late, but there are some turtle tracks here. I'll show you the tracks. They kind of look like four wheel drive tracks to you. to you and me. And they're really cool to see. There's different sorts of ones, different sorts of tracks. Um, but yeah, I think we might have missed the turtles. Well, actually there's one on the beach over there. Let's go get it. No, let's know quickly. We're not scared. Okay. But yeah, I can see one moving into the water. I don't know if we'll be quick enough, but we'll go have a look. How's that, hey? Been watching this beautiful mum behind me lay her eggs all morning, and I think she's just about done. So she's filling in her hole, trying to cover up all her eggs. And I think she's about to make a break for it. She's 
she's going to beeline it back to the beach and she won't come back until next time she lay eggs and I think that's from memory once every 20 years I'm not sure I'm going to have to have a look and research that it's too early in the morning for this and I haven't had a coffee but if I'm right here she goes What are we doing now? Walking to breakfast. Looking forward to it? Yes, I need a coffee. Coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, they must happen at seven. Yeah. I just remember the time I was pregnant, we were there waiting at the door because we're so hungry. Feeding someone? So we just finished brekkie and we are heading out to go for a snorkel off the reef. It's about an hour uh, before it hits low tide. So we're going to walk out across the reef, hopefully see some epaulette sharks or something along the way, which would be cool. And we're going to just jump off sort of the, the reef wall at the edge there and maybe 
find something a little bit prettier in, in the colour section of the coral, possibly an eel. There's much more down there. Some rays, there. yeah, there's much more life down there off that edge. And I don't know, maybe we'll see some turtles that are circling the island, uh, waiting for the cover of darkness as well. So that'll be really cool. Um, we're just cleaning up our goggles at the moment because it's all salty spray all over them, um, a little bit foggy. So, And we did revert back to the normal mask and snorkel because obviously the face ones that you saw initially, they're just not for us. So we'll sell them to someone who actually might really enjoy them or even give them away. We're not sure yet. Um, but at this stage, uh, we're going to clean these up. We're going to go down the reef and uh, when we finish cleaning these up, we'll take you down there and hopefully we can see some cool stuff. Getting in the cloth. Yeah. It's pretty dirty. It's two years worth of salt stuck on there. So right now we're sort of just floating on top of the ship. That's pretty cool, eh? Well, I'm going to enter it. Look at that out there. How awesome is that? That's so cool. I'm so glad we came out here even though it's a bit choppy. Um, it's under the water, you know what? Still great. 
Um, hopefully we see some big dust. Oh, once yeah, have a head of something like this. Uh, so we'll keep sneaking around these dark murky areas and hopefully get something really cool for you guys. Hey, man. Oh, yeah, here we go. Turn it off. Turn it off. Japanese, Chinese. Sure, we can read this. Wind, wind, it's windy today. So today we didn't get to go for our peaceful, calm snorkel in the water. This afternoon at high tide, it was severely windy. As you can probably hear all the wind in the background, but it was still a beautiful day and a beautiful swim. So we're hoping tomorrow might be a little bit better. As you can see, it's cheeky wine time and we're about to go and have dinner. So we just thought we'd do a recap of the day. So what was your highlights? Seeing all the new freshly grown coral. Oh yeah, so you, you cool probably you probably see in the in the footage some of the coral. You can see that it's a lot of it's bleached, but you can see there's actually colours like a little blue tip coming back in the colour of the coral, and there was some green stuff as well. We don't know the names of them, but it showed signs that there was life growing again, which is really cool on the reef. Mine the past years they've been really. Mine was definitely around the boat, around the wreckage. That was my highlight. I really enjoyed that. 
Um, hope, like I said, hopefully tomorrow we get some better footage uh, and hopefully the water is a little bit calmer and that way we can probably chase a turtle down, the elusive turtle that we're not seeing. But we'll definitely try and get out in the morning and see some more turtles nesting. Um, but yeah. But apart from that, we're signing off. I'll show you a couple of photos of the food if it comes out and it looks decent enough to show. I'm sure it will. But you know, you never know. It's roast night tonight, apparently. Who so, could yeah. go wrong with the roast? Yeah. So anyways, um, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning everybody. Morning. It's, it's day three, Heron Island Adventures, and we've bought you some snorkeling so far, a little bit of food imagery, nothing special, uh, some sunsets, some cheeky wine, a little bit of turtle talk, but today, this morning, we are going to go for a, a trek through the island. So behind us, you can see, this, you can see the sign. It says Shark Bay, 670 meters through the island this way. I doubt it's going to be a straight path, so it might be a little bit more than we expect. But we're pretty keen to do it. We're going to show you the way. I might just get the whole uh, vision of it and then just speed it up. So let's go ahead and get that done. And we'll show you on the other side of Shark Bay. And we might go for a snorkel out there too. fairly easy to be honest <laughs> it was flat ground all the way and it was pretty cool we got to see some bird nests we got to see a lot of the personia trees and they're the ones that I was telling you which have all that sappy stuff which then eat the birds into the earth so this is Shark Bay on the other side of the island as you can see next to Ashley and myself turtles have nested here overnight so there's heaps of nests around So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm glad we did that. Now that we've here, we've earned a cheeky snorkel. And I tell you what, that water looks absolutely pristine. You're gonna get some wind, obviously. We're on an island in the middle of the Barrier Reef. But hey, paradise. It's not much to uh, deal with. Anyway, I'll show you a couple of pics and then we're gonna go for a snorkel. Just 
quickly, the reason why it's called Shark Bay isn't what you think. There actually isn't a lot of sharks around here. You do still get the reef sharks around here, but uh, back in the day, people saw the, uh, what was it, the shovel nose shark? Yeah. Which is that really flat shark that just skims across the bottom. It's, it's a bottom feeder. Anyway, so that's, they thought it was a shark initially. It's now been changed to the shovel nose ray. But this section of the island was named after that particular ray back then shark. So that's why it's called Shark Bay. There's some info for you. You can fact check it if you like. But we're going for a snorkel. See you then. Let me just say, BTS, you probably need to step up the quality of your reef food. Check this out. Brand spanker, mate. Not good enough. So I'm underwater, getting some cool shots, and all I hear is from the distance. I turn around, I think pointing at something. There's nothing there at all. So I come over here to see what it is, thinking it's some sick shark or something, and it's a grope. Come on, mate. Come on. Anyway, we're seeing some cool stuff, but don't listen to Ashley, mate. Get shot. Yeah, you better swim away. You and your broker. So I don't have flippers on, it's a little bit harder than normal, but I'll go through the underneath the jetty. Oh. That was pretty cool.
Hey, hey, it's guess who? It's me again. Mm -hmm. So it's the afternoon and we are just chilling, watching Netflix. So I guess you can call it Netflix and chill. David Attenborough is on the screen. I'll show you the screen. Jealous. I think we are going to try, attempt to do a turtle sand sculpture. So stay tuned for that. Um, it'll either be good or it'll be really crappy. Uh, either way, it's going to be fun. What do you reckon, yay or nay? Is it a cool turtle or is it a failure? You like it? Better than I would have done. I collected the shells and Andrew formed the shape of the turtle. Started as a whisper, message from a new world I'd never know. Something about it felt like. See the big one surface over there in a second. Oh, it's right here. The big number right here. There's a couple over there and there's one over there. Turtles! How many? Three spotted at least six. Probably hundreds. One, two, popping their heads up there. Three. Incredible. What time is it? 5.20. Cheeky wine time. Cheeky wine time. It's just amazing. Look at them. Good morning everybody, today is the day that we leave, Hang we on. set sail, big sad face, boo. Um, we've had a great time, it has been awesome, we've seen all the footage of us snorkeling and sunsets and just basically enjoying ourselves which is, you know, the times are in, it's pretty cool. So, we just wanted to say thanks very much for you guys watching the videos and please like and subscribe, that will go a long way and it means very it means a lot to us you know um that you're tuning in and watching our videos so definitely please do yeah 
So anyways, just enjoy a couple of shots and this background and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. As you can see guys, our ride's here, so we'll catch you on the other side. Bye! Why are you getting on the boat? What happened to the helicopter? Crashed. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're not on the chopper, we're on the boat, so...